And <clears throat> support starts early, pre-college programs. This is gonna be presented by Ms. Liz Duarte, uh, director of our pre-college programs. Hi, Liz. Hi, good morning, and team. They're here with me as well. And oh, what wonderful. a great transition to uh, working for TRIO because we do hire tutors and we hire events workers and summer program assistants. So, you know, we get our BBC college students involved. So that's always great being mentors to our pre-college students. And yes, my name is Liz Duarte. I'm the director of special grant programs on campus, uh, focusing on our pre-college, do TRIO Upward Bound and Cal Soap, serving our K through 12 students with our team. So what we focus on, of course, is the connection with K through 12 engagement and the climb. Okay, so with that, I'm going to let my staff continue and let's start with connection. How do we connect? Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren. I am the admin secretary for TRIO Upper Bound. Um, it's nice to see everyone. I uh, will go over um, our connection part of our program. We connect in a number of different ways. We understand that everyone is unique and um, everyone is an individual. Um, so some of the ways in which we do connect is uh, weekly phone calls. So we will call and um, try to make that connection over the phone with our students, with our parents. Um, during these phone calls, we're gonna check in, see how you're doing. Um, we're gonna see if you have questions. And um, of course the focus is academic support. We wanna make sure that we're answering um, those questions for you or connecting you you with the correct person. Um, another way in which we communicate um, and connect is through email. We understand that everyone's very busy. Um, sometimes e email with everything being written down for you um, is a, a good way to connect and communicate. We also use Remind 101 in the form of a text message. So we send out reminders about events, um, activities, deadlines, again, um, all focusing on academics. Um, another uh, platform, obviously, which we've been using uh, more and more is Zoom. Um, so we do virtual appointments and connections through Zoom. Um, and we make sure that if students are needing some additional one-on-one -on -one support, Zoom's a great um, way to do that. Um, we also send out mailers and communicate with um, letters, just highlighting, again, events, um, different activities. And although it does seem like those are a lot of, um, a lot of communication, it does um, help uh, for students and parents to get those little extra reminders because they're dealing with so much going on. Everyone's very busy. Everyone has, um, you know, a lot in their schedule. So we just want to make sure that we're checking in as best as we can. And um, if that connection is strong, we're able to best support the student um, in their academics. And again, we, we focus on individualizing that connection. We don't want to assume that every student is the same, that every family is the same. We really want to um, make it personal. We wanna focus on, okay, what do, what do you need from us? How can we make sure that you're the best student, that you're um, getting everything you need? And that's that type of uh, individualized support that we provide. Um, another thing is we wanna make sure that we are connecting our parents and students with the VVC campus and um, that they are getting every form of you know, information or if they have questions about the campus itself that we're connecting um, them with the appropriate information as well. So those are some of the ways um, in which we connect with our students and parents. Um, and then our next focus or one of our primary goals is making sure that we're engaged, that engagement piece. Good morning, everyone. My name is Angel McDaniel. I am True Upper Bounds Program Specialist. We engage our participants weekly on academic connections. We do academic connections, which consists of wellness checks. We do checks with our students, whether we're calling them or whether we're face-to-face, -face, just overall general, checking and seeing how they're doing for the day or since the last time we spoke to them or met with them. Right now, we've been really focusing on how they're adjusting to the distance learning, their virtual classroom, kind of encourage them a little bit more to connect with their teachers and engage them and say, hey, I need help. I missed an assignment. What can I do? So we tell them, you know, please go ahead, encourage them, email your teacher, find out what you can do to make up the grade, 
or the assignment so that you could maintain a good GPA. And we provide them with any other resources that needed that are on their site. If they're needing, if their teacher doesn't do office hours or doesn't do tutoring, we encourage them to engage their campus and try and find out what exactly they're able to do or what teacher may be able to provide them with a Zoom meeting or a one-on-one tutoring session. And we also provide tutoring as well, one-on-one. We do it through Remind 101 or through the Zoom. If they need any assistance with any of their homework, they can like snapshot their picture from Remind 101, and send it to me, I'll help them out. Or if they're in need of like, okay, the teacher went over something I just don't understand, the concept is completely understand, I just can't figure it out. <laughs> I had a student who needed some help with that, and we've just been contacting over the phone as well as through Zoom, helping them figure out the concept, as well as parents that would want to know how do we continue to help my students continue to move forward and maintain the GPA, complete all the assignments. We also provide them with good and promoting them with good study skills, whether or not it's just a time management thing where they need to do one class first before doing the other because there's a lot more going on in that class or take a break, a little mental self-care. So we provide them with the academic support and connections to help them climb towards their graduation. Thank you, Lauren, and thank you, um, Angel. So yes, we help our students connect, engage, and climb. So not only do we do our, our weekly academic connections, our monthly college academies, again, focus on career pathways and degrees, everything that uh, VVC has to offer once they graduate high school, from an associate degree to a certificate, to transfer, to obtaining their bachelor's and their master's. And we also have great events here on campus where we connect them to VVC and they actually can attend our summer academy. I know that last year we were not able to do that due to the pandemic, but we did it virtually. So we uh, hosted our first virtual summer academy last year, all online for six weeks intense. They get to complete A through G requirements in addition to college prep. And uh, something that we did before when we were on campus or when you know the pandemic wasn't going on uh, was community service. So that's something else. Now it's done a lot differently, of course, more by mentoring because it's virtual. And again, those parent college sessions that are so important. We started our monthly uh, parent symposium with uh, Maria Martinez, connecting um, you know, education, the importance of mental wellness with this pandemic and ensuring that not only are they successful academically, but that their holistic well-being is being taken care of so that they can get through the pandemic until we uh, go back in person, right? So we prep our students again for college by giving them these weekly services, monthly college prep, the summer program, we're giving them services all year round and engaging in leadership, student development, to making sure that they take initiative once it's time to register for BBC or their FAFSA or their college application, university application, giving them all the workshops, working with the parents, working with the students. And again, this is personalized student support because they're in this pre-college program, TRIO Upward Bound. Again, giving them all the financial literacy that they need so that they can make informative decisions regarding their money for college. And of course, we work closely with our bridge program, making sure that they, if they are coming to VVC, they sign up for bridge, working with the counselors at the high schools. I work with the principals, our team here, Lauren, Angel, myself, we work with all the constituents on campus from the one stop, from our support programs to financial aid, admissions, and our counselors at the high schools, our career centers. So again, we're that connector and we wanna connect them to everything we have to offer here at VVC, everything we have to offer as a pre-college uh, program engaging them, engaging them uh, uniquely with their needs and their goals, depending on what they wanna do once they graduate high school, even if they're exploring careers. And we have so many that we offer here that you've already heard. I know yesterday um, on Tuesday through our virtual welcome week and continue to hear today with all that VVC has to offer. Just like Robert says, VVC is the place to be. So this is a great start working again with all our high schools, to our feeder uh, junior highs and elementary. We have an event um, last year where I was able to give some elementary campus tours. So I'm excited to eventually have virtual campus tours until we open up. And once we go back in person 
to continue that. They need to be able to see everything we've done on campus and continue to work on uh, to engage them. So if you have family, whether it's a sister, a brother, a cousin, uh, you, you know, anybody in your family, anybody in the community that you know can benefit from our pre-college program, tell them about Liz Duarte, tell them about Angel McDaniel, tell them about Lauren Lewis and how we will help you connect to our services to ensure that you are successful, that you are connected to all uh, VVC has to offer when it comes to pre-college so that you can get connected to everything you need to do once you graduate from high school and you're on board with VVC and everything we have to offer. So I actually have some pictures I wanted to share as well. Now that we've gone through our program, I have our, let's see here. Can you guys see it or no? Not yet. No, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see. I know Tim is Bell is on here. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody, am I able to share my screen? Yes, you Tim? are. Okay, so let's see. Send us a copy if you can't get it up and I can post it. Uh, okay, hold on, let me see. I should be able to do it myself. Um, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you real quick. I wanted to share our pictures. Every year we, um, we showcase our pictures here so that our students can see everything we do in the campus. And Cristal, I'll send it to you right now. Okay, I did, but by the time you get it, probably. Okay, I just sent it to you. But anyway, what I was gonna show you is that uh, it highlights all our students um, from all the campus highlights from the admissions and records, the bursars, financial aid, I wanted to show you um, how we connect with our restaurant management. We actually uh, hire them every year so that they uh, give our uh, students breakfast and lunch for the six weeks. Um, they connect with our campus police, our Puente program and contract ed. In addition to all our next up EOPS access CalWORKs programs on campus and also our faculty, we actually did a STEM um, program last year, uh, 2019, actually two years ago before the COVID. And uh, it was very successful on campus. It was a partnership with UCI and they got a chance to build robotics. So with that, um, it was our streamline to uh, increasing uh, girls in STEM, working with our faculty here on campus. And that was very successful as well. So we had various components. So um, that's our program, pre-college trio upward bound and Cal Soap again. So if you have any students um, that you know of that could benefit from uh, our pre-college services, again, family, um, brother, sister, connect them with us. Um, my number is 760-245-42, extension 2415. So uh, just go ahead and have them call me or Liz Duarte at bbc.edu. And again, I can help you, Lauren can help you, Angel can help you. And um, that wraps it up for us. Do you guys have any questions? We did wanna leave about 10 minutes for Q and A. Any questions, you guys can put it in the chat. You can actually uh, go ahead and unmute and talk to us as well. That's wonderful. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. You know, before we do that, will you um, please resend that email to Crystal? That way we still have time to get those photos up and I would love to, to okay. share that. Yeah, Great. I do want to share that. So let me see. While we're here. doing that, actually, if we if you don't mind, I've got a question for you and the team. Um, we've yes. really been enjoying getting to know our faculty and staff and learning a little bit, a little bit about them and their past and their history. So if you ladies wouldn't mind sharing with us, what did you want to do when you were growing up? Obviously, we know we don't always end up exactly where we think when we're kids um, or even when we start 
college, you know, things change. We learn new things, we learn new passions, and we go those routes. So what did you ladies want to do when you were growing up? Did you want to start, um, Angel or Lauren? I'll go. Sure. Okay. Um, when I um, was little, I, I can remember one of the first things that I wanted to be was a veterinarian. I always had animals and I liked caring for animals and I liked, um, I had a horse. And so I really wanted um, to go that path. And then unfortunately I realized that blood and all the other not so fun stuff that comes along with that type of work um, probably wouldn't be realistic for me. But So I, I transitioned there, but that's uh, kind of my earliest memory of uh, what I thought I wanted to be. And, you know, that's, that was my story. Wonderful. Angel, how about you? I wanted to be a pediatric doctor. So I wanted to work with children. And then I started doing um, daycare with toddlers and stuff. And then I said, oh, no, if that's going to work out when we wanted to be a doctor. And then I realized how many more medical classes I had to do. And I was like, uh, I might have to rethink this. So I wasn't so much on the whole going to school that long. That's okay. that's how it goes sometimes. You know, you get a little bit of experience. You get a little bit of experience in something that uh, you think sounds great, and then you find out. <laughs> Liz, how about you? What did you grow up with? All right, so I just sent that to her. So I think we're good. I'm gonna be able to show it, thank God. Um, <laughs> for me, I actually, uh, you know what? I always tell this story and, and some people, I don't know if you've ever been there. Uh, if you hear a student like, I just want to sign. When I was uh, in kindergarten, I actually, um, there was a, one of my peers, we got dropped off at the school, you know, from the school bus to go home. And his mom wasn't there. He was crying. So um, I took him to my house, which was an apartment, you know, with my mom, gave him a book in colors. And I think for me, I always wanted to work in education, but I didn't know it. Because once I decided to go, go to Santa Ana College, I wanted to be an accountant. You know, so I took all the accounting classes and I know some students do this where they um, start off with one major and then they go off to another. But then I returned to my love, my first love, which is education. And here I am working at BBC. I worked at Santa Ana College as well. And I, I, I can't let go. I love what I do. Even though I got my degree in accounting, I decided to continue with education because I love working with people. And when you love working with people, then you know you can't just work with accounting. I wanted to be a CPA, believe it or not. And I was like, nah, I, I gotta work with people. I, I have more to give. So here I am. Um, again, I started at a community college as well. And I feel like it has so much to offer students and then go off to the university that I just wanna share that uh, love with everybody. So BBC is the place to be. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I think we have our, our photos ready. Why don't we have a look at them and will you walk us through what we're seeing? Yes. Okay. So Cristal, if you don't mind, thank you so much for helping again. Um, and if we can start with the June one, I think this one's July. If you don't mind starting with the June, I sent you the June as well. Oh man. So this one's July, but let me see. Um, this is the only one I got from you. Oh, I have the, I sent you the other one right after this one when I was explaining um, the uh, degree, but okay. If you go all the way to the top, um, so this is the beginning, right? The help desk, right? Okay, here we go. Going down a little bit, because I don't know, it won't let me change it or go down. Um, so the VVC spotlight, uh, you know, showing the students where they can get help. So after you leave high school, right? Where do you go here at VVC to get help? We have a writing center. We have a math success center, right? So the core classes, we all need to write and also we're all gonna use math, even if it's basic math in our life, right? So I try to connect the students and showcase, you know, where the writing center is, where the math success center is, the help desk, because if you need help with something, who do you go to? Maybe you might go to a friend, maybe you might go to an instructor, but sometimes nobody's there, they're not available. We have a great help desk, you know, but we are, right now we have a virtual a one-stop as well to help students. So I went ahead and I showcased that. And um, these are some of our pre-college students on campus back in 2019 when we were able to, to see them in person uh, in that last year. You can keep going to the next slide. And then we actually went to visit the planetarium as well. We uh, took them to our cooperative ed to ensure that they know that they can get units while working. We went to our next up program, again, our foster component on campus where we 
support our foster um, adults, you know, that were foster youth. And then the subjects and classes, you know, ensuring that they're academically still working towards their A through G, graduating if they want to, you know, do dual enrollment, they do that as well, so that they're ready for BVC, transfer to Cal State, UC, or even if they choose a certificate in technical education. Next. And here we are, we actually did time management and mock interviews, which you already know, we all got a job, right? How do we get that job? You go for an interview, you get nervous. I mean, even now, right? We're doing the Zoom, we're presenting. And then we, even though you try to brush up and wear the nice tie or girls, you know, you wear the, you know, the nice outfit as well. And you feel like, okay, I got this. And, you know, practicing, it's, it's never perfect. And the beauty of it is that you can always um, make it better. This morning, I met with the staff and I said, okay, we presented in the fall. What are we going to do different? And I'm like, this will be our cue, you know, and it's still like, you know, I thought I had the presentation, but it, there's always the opportunity for growth. And that's the beauty. Nothing's perfect. You can always make it better. And then those good study habits. You know, sometimes in, in high school, you learn a certain way and then we give you certain tips and then you learn what works for you. And even now during the pandemic, we're trying to find out better ways to, to time manage. And of course, uh, ensure that you're being committed to good study habits, because if you're at home all the time, you're eating, you're on your bed, you're Zooming, and then you kind of feel like, oh, I'm really flexible, but you have to be very um, committed to still doing your work, right? And then test taking strategies. We have students who can do their homework, but not test well or vice versa. So what can we do? So we hire study smart tutors and they go over so many techniques and of course assessment, you know, how to take an assessment, how to take a test, what to look for, because sometimes it's the way it's worded. And we wanna make sure that you're being successful when you are testing, if you're not a good test taker. And you can go to the next slide and career insights with our program, we do career exploration. So here we have emergency medical response right on our BBC campus, you know, from our um, Apple Valley uh, uh, Regional Center police uh, force pathway. We had our campus police participate as well. Uh, teaching pathway, we had our teachers who teach during the summer with our students, you know, tell about their teaching route. And then we had a student that actually was in, interested in our plant science pathway here on campus. In addition to marketing, look who's here. Is she still on? Robert, are you still here? No? Well, we even <laughs> we even had our public relations pathway highlighted as well. So that was really nice. And then keep going. I'm here. And because we have these students, oh, there. Hey, did you see yourself right there? I, go back. Can you go back, Crystal? Um he had another computer next. To right me. there. See, marketing and public relations pathway. See? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's you. Okay, so keep going. So, you know, we highlighted that as well. And then our spirit week, because these are students and we have it here at BBC. We have like what, you know, Tuesday, wear your, your nice, uh, you know, university, uh, you know, gear or whatever, you know. So we had 80s crazy hair day, casual PJ day, career day, sports day, diversity, uh, diversity and inclusion day. So, you know, we want to make it fun. Everybody has their own personality, even for those that are in the shyer side, you know, introverts, we want to make sure that they shine. And if they're an extrovert, that they use those skills as well. And if you keep going, to our last uh, slide. This was our STEM careers component with um, you know, our faculty here, computer programming and Python. So in, of course we had uh, our female because we wanna increase STEM and female um, area here nationally. And, and, and as you know that uh, there's always grants and this was one of the grants with our UCI partnership. And if you keep going to our last slide, I believe, this was our awards night and there's Robert. Robert, are you still on? And there's Angel and then Lauren couldn't be there, but she was with us in spirit. But this is where we actually congratulate all these students for being on campus for six weeks intense from eight in the morning when we pick them up from the high schools to bringing them here with our great restaurant management where they have breakfast, they go to class, then we have lunch, they go to class, then we bus them back at the high schools, working with their parents, ensuring that they're doing their work at home, making sure they're doing their work here with summer program assistants, Robert's there. This is one of our VVC guest alumni who actually works for CBS and she was in my trio program and there's many more who have done great things just the way I hear VVC alumni do great things as well and then they come back to the community. She came, she was our speaker. So this is a great way to end it that the beauty of our programs is when the student actually attains their goals, right? And Liz, even if it takes it. 
Everything you said, Liz, is true. You have an awesome Yes, program. Robert, BBC is the place to be. And then here is just thanking the entire staff from Lauren to Angel, to our summer program assistants, to our teachers working together with our partnerships with our high schools. You know, again, the faculty on campus, it takes so much behind the scenes. I mean, all this looks beautiful and polished, but there's so much work behind the scenes. And you know what? It's that love we have and that passion we have for higher ed to making sure that these students reach their career goals, enter that workforce and make a positive difference in their life, in the life of their families, in the life of, of you know, their future you know, family as well. So thank you very much. I hope that with what we presented, um, even though it took a little bit long to upload this, um, you know, that you guys got a good insight about our pre-college trio program and council programs. And again, K through 12, if you have anybody, don't hesitate to bring them on. Okay, because as Robert says, VVC is the place to be. On board, people. Thank you.